Are children who star in adult rated movies allowed to watch the film once it's completed? So check this out. Uh, Jim Hagerman from Hagerman Amps and Effects reached out to me a couple weeks ago and said, hey, you want to uh, want to demo a couple of pedals for me since I, I have actually demoed one of his pedals here in the past. Uh, and I said, yeah, sure, what you got? And long story short, he sent me a couple of new pedals out of his uh, product line, uh, one called the simply called the Metal, the other called the Flange. This one, of course, is a high gain distortion. This one, of course, is a flange. Now, in the past, I demoed uh, a, a pedal of his called the Distort, which ironically is actually the overdrive pedal out of this line, but it was a really, really good sounding overdrive. Uh, these, I suspect, are also going to be, uh, you know, a good, good quality and sound. This one is based, uh, this, it's a, this is a high gain distortion with the, uh, I believe, the LM3900 uh, amp chip which is an op amp chip, I believe, uh, that's in it. So, you know, it's, it's described as kind of a high gain distortion slash fuzz type of sound. Uh, you know, fuzz op amp, so think like, you know, early 70s Big Muff or, you know, uh, or, you know even like 90s Smashing Pumpkins tones because that's what uh, Billy Corgan used. Uh, so I anticipate this pedal being somewhat along the lines of that sound. You know, the flange pedal, on the other hand, this isn't necessarily a, uh, you know, it's not a, you know, uh, they don't make clones or copies of other pedals or anything like that. They like kind of like to, you know, uh, make unique mods to a very simple circuit. Uh, and this particular flanger has uh, has two PT2399, I believe they're called. Uh, yeah, two PT2399 delay chips in it. Uh, so, you know, I'm going to be straight honest with you guys i'm not a an electronics guru or an amp technician or you know or a builder or anything like that you know so the types of chips and stuff that are used in pedals mean nothing to me honestly it it's probably one of the last possible pieces of information that are going to determine whether i i uh, i buy a particular product or not but uh, especially nowadays with the boutique market booming and new boutique builders popping up all over the place people have more and more of an interest uh in exactly which components are being used. So that's why I wanted to share that. A couple of other features about these pedals. Uh, aesthetically, you probably by now already noticed uh, the funny little uh, wings with the holes in them here in the top and bottom. Uh, these are handy particularly for people who like to secure their pedals down to their pedal board using uh, zip ties uh, or cable ties, whatever you want to call them, uh, such as myself. You know, Hagerman has actually built uh, a place on their pedal housing where we can do that. You know, and it's convenient for a couple of reasons, uh, because if you, again, if you do like to use cable ties, a lot of times there are, there is an issue with, uh, you know, with, with running the cable ties either too close to the controls or around the switch, uh, the input jacks, you know, stuff like that. You know, this keeps the cable ties out of the way of everything and, uh, you know, prevents you from having to use Velcro on the back, which obviously, uh, turns into a great big sticky globby mess before too long. And last but not least, if you support Hagerman Amps and Effects, you are buying a product that is made here in the USA. Hagerman Amps is actually based out of Honolulu, Hawaii. Uh, so you will not only be supporting uh, an American, uh, an American-based company, but you are also going to be uh, supporting the local economy out there on one of our favorite islands. Certainly one of my favorite islands. All right, that's enough talk. Let's hear how they sound.
But there we go. A couple of new effects from Hagerman Amps and Effects. Uh, I will post links to these pedals down in the description as well as any other pertinent links uh, for the gear used in this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, all of that. Com comment down below, all that kind of stuff. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.